everyone, so as hard as I try, I'm still struggling to try and be a normal functioning adult. I'm still able to screw up basic things like washing. I ruined one of my really good blankets this week. I have two of these blankets. This is the normal size it's supposed to be, but when you put it on a hot rinse, it, it shrinks. It shrinks a lot. And this is now twice as small as it used to be. I don't even know if you can tell the difference in size because I can't hold the whole thing up on camera, but trust me, this one is a lot smaller than this one. I've really screwed it up. I'm not gonna put it in the bin or anything. It still looks okay. It's just really tiny. This one, my cats can now have. That's their blanket. It. I made it especially for them. It seems that it doesn't matter how many times I think I've checked every pocket for a tissue, I haven't checked them all. Was there a walrus in here? Yes, there was a walrus in here. It just left. Oh, I would have loved to have seen it. Such a shame it was a good looking walrus. You really missed out. Best day of my life. Looked cranky too. Well, I've got myself one of these this week. And what is it? It's a mouth guard so I don't grind my teeth at night. But it's not working because I keep taking it out in the middle of the night and putting it under my pillow. It's also incredibly uncomfortable to wear and I just can't get used to it. And for some reason I have a strange habit of lifting my lip up above it and sticking it up. Look, I can't really explain it so let's just show you what I do with it, alright? And prepare yourselves because this is going to look really attractive, okay? Alright, so I do this. Alright. And don't laugh. Stop laughing, far out. I do this and then in the middle of the night I somehow get this lip and I stick it up here. I can't do it now. <laughs> I can only do it when I'm sleeping. Can you understand me? I don't know. I get this lip and I go like that and I uh, anyway, look, I can't do it now. I can only do it when I'm sleeping and I can't video myself while I'm sleeping. But this thing isn't working out. I thought, yeah, I can handle this. I should be able to keep this in overnight and stop myself from grinding my own teeth, but I can't. I look like a totally different person right now. You know what though, some people probably just look like this normally. I look miserable. <laughs> can't laugh with it. The other thing about this is that I tend to breathe through the little holes in this and so in the middle of the night I'm waking up by this weird sound that is me. I'll try to make this sound for you because I'm sure you'll appreciate it. I've also had some sort of a weird rash thing and I, yeah I will talk about this all right and I know a lot of you are saying oh man I've had enough of this I don't want to listen to it anymore. Just listen just hear me out all right because it's it's absolutely fascinating. I've had this weird rash on my chin, my chin, <laughs> that's my cheek. For those of you playing at home, that's my chin, that's my cheek. Anyway, I've had a weird rash on my cheek and I don't know what it is and of course I started Googling what it might be. And you know how when you Google things that medically are wrong with you, that it ends up with a whole list of things and you will automatically think it's the worst thing that you've Googled. That's what I have. I'm gonna die. It's gone now. It's gone. So I think it was just some sort of a heat rash. Really, I don't know what it was. Because Google wouldn't let me know. And it's not like I'm going to pay a doctor to find out what it is and sit around with a whole lot of sick people. I just want to Google it and if I can't work out what it is, then I just hope it's going to go away. That's how I deal with medical issues. I know, it's not a great idea. But the other thing is I couldn't stop scratching it and I was scratching it at work and one of my work colleagues said, Stop scratching your face, you're going to make it worse. But it's okay because I was really sneaky about it. I thought that's fine. I'm not going to outright scratch it with my hand That's too obvious. So I got a pen and thought I'd scratch my face with my pen And that way no one would notice that I was actually scratching. They just think I was fiddling around with my pen or something Have you been scratching your face? No, I think you're lying, but that didn't really work out that well. I don't think I got away with it Thanks for watching everyone. Please give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic week. Bye. What idiot left the tissue in the wash? Oh, hang on. That was me.